Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and this is where I help you find your voice and create music with your drums. Today, we're going to be doing a comparison between Moon Gel, kind of the standard gel that's been around forever for dampening your drums, or these generic drum gel dampeners that you can get on Amazon. These are much cheaper. You get 30 of these for 10 bucks. You get six of these for $7. So let's see what the difference is and if this is worth a little bit more money. Let's get into it. If you're new to drums, maybe you haven't heard of Moon Gel before, but if you've been around for a while, you have definitely heard about it and you've probably used it. Moon Gel is a sticky hand-like material that you can stick on your drums and cymbals in order to dampen the sound that you're getting out of them. Now there are lots of different ways to dampen your drums. You can dampen your drums with duct tape, with gaffing tape, with cotton balls, with these kind of plastic O-rings, with sticky hands, uh, with felt, with all kinds of different things. And so you might say, Mike, well, why do I need to buy moon gel or some gel dampening pads? What's the point? Well, the point is convenience. It's really convenient to buy something like moon gel or a dampening pad, throw it in your stick bag and you always have it available. If you're like me and oftentimes you're going to gigs and you're playing on other people's drum sets or you're playing at different churches, uh, things like that, or you're just kind of moving around a lot into different types of rooms, you never know when you're gonna need some dampening. And moon gel is a lot easier to pull out, stick on, take off, break apart, move around than it is to get out some cotton balls or some felt or some other things that you're gonna put on. Also, if you're using somebody else's kit, you don't want to put a bunch of duct tape all over it or a bunch of gaff tape and, and kind of stick up the heads and make it look ugly for, for the next guy who comes in or for a guy that you're borrowing his kit. So moon gel is a good way to go. We're going to see if dampening pads are a good way to go. <laughs> We're going to see if dampening pads are a better way to go uh, in this video. So first off, moon gel comes in this nice plastic little resealable uh, tub. And uh, there's six moon gels inside. They come stacked on top of each other. And they're this nice blue color that, that everybody knows and, 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 and loves. So maybe, maybe you love it, maybe you don't. And you can see they just stick together and you can pull one off and here you go. So there is one moon gel. This one happens to have a little air bubble in it, which is odd. I've never really seen that before. And it's super easy to put on your drum. You can literally just, well, I don't know, I did some kind of a magic trick. I've, I've, lo <laughs> I've lost the moon gel. All right, I found it, it's all dirty now. I threw it onto the face drum pedal. <laughs> so you can, you can see it's very sticky. You can literally just throw it onto your drum, just like that, and it will stick right away. So it's pretty sticky, but it comes off easily. Uh, it goes on easily, just like that. It's stuck on and comes off easily. So you can also stick it on your cymbals. It'll stick right on there and it'll come off just like that. Moon gel is able to be torn in half just by pulling it like that. I ripped it in two. It's a little ugly. Sometimes you might want to use some scissors, but in a pinch, you just rip it off. Now, let's hear what the moon gel does to the drum. We'll start here on the small tom. Wide open, no moon gels. All right, and one moon gel and I usually put them kind of like right on the uh, logo of the drum head of the Remo maybe like half an inch from the top and here is with one moon gel all right I'm gonna add a second one on now kind of about in the same place but just over to the side and let's hear with two moon gels now You can hear some of the attack, some of the sustain is being removed. And I'm just gonna, this one that I ripped in half, I'm gonna add down here towards the bottom and then towards the bottom. So now we have three moon gels, one of them torn in half. Let's just take a listen to how that sounds.
So as you can see, as we add more gels, the attack lessens and the sustain lessens and we end up with kind of a, a, a rounder, almost like you're putting your hand over your mouth, a rounder sound that has less decay and that is shorter. So this is good if you're trying to kind of like tighten up that sound or if you want to bring down the attack on your drums, you can throw some moon gel on your drum. You can also put some moon gel on a cymbal. Uh, here's my ride cymbal with just wide open. And now I'm going to throw uh, one of the torn moon gels here uh, on the cymbal and you'll hear how it dries it out a little bit. And I'll put one more. Now a full moon gel, I'll put kind of right here at the top in between those two on the outside. And uh, let's get a listen to that. Pull it off, do the same crashes. And now with all the moon gel removed, Moon gel, pretty versatile stuff. I mean, you can't do that with felt. You can do that with duct tape. I have a piece of duct tape on my other ride cymbal just right along the bottom, dries it right out, works great. But moon gel is just great in a pinch. It's super quick, you can experiment. You can experiment moving towards the bell, away from the bell, on the outside of the cymbal, on the inside of the cymbal, on the outside of the drum, towards the middle of the drum. You can move it all around and you can get all kinds of different sounds from your drums with just a little tub of moon gel. I've been using moon gel for years and I really like it. Another cool thing about it is that it is washable. So if it gets dirty like this one that I just dropped on the bass drum, I can take it with some really light soap and water and just wash it off and it's good to go. Uh, I have some other moon gel that's been sitting on this drum probably for like a year. I know I need to change that head, but it's about a year old and it's still there. Eventually it does dry out all the way and fall off but it will stay stuck to a drum head for a really long time. Like I said, that one's been on there for a year. So let's compare it to these drum dampening pads. So the first thing that I don't like is that you don't get the uh, kind of plastic tub. You get a little resealable Ziploc bag. And uh, so that's fine. And these ones come on um, kind of these pads. Now I could tell you, right away, just from handling this, it is not sticky on this side. So let me peel this off and feel if it's sticky on the other side. Okay, so it's sticky on the back, but it's not sticky on the front. It's sticky on the back, but not sticky in the front. So moon gel sticky on both sides. So uh, let me put it on the drum and we'll hear how it changes the quality of the drum. Just for reference again, wide open. Now with one drum dampening pad, And with two. So it sticks really well. Uh, it's not sticky on the top, which I kind of like because moon gel is sticky on the top and it picks up dirt and stuff and gets kind of ugly. This is not sticky on the top. Size wise, I will put the moon gel onto the back of this dampening pad and you can see size wise, the moon gel is, it's a little bit bigger. And so you might have to use two and a half uh, of these dampening pads to get the same effect that you would get with two moon gels. Now let's try it on the cymbal and see if it sticks. So I'm just gonna stick one right on there and uh, I'll stick one on the other side and we'll see if it dries the cymbal out as well. So here we go. This is with two drum dampening gels. All right, here's with three. Definitely does the job. I like that these are not sticky on the outside. That is really cool. So these come in a few colors. They have clear, black, blue, 
and uh, you get 30 of these for $9.99, which is what is on Amazon right now, uh, or you get six moon gels for, I think, $7.99. So, um, I might give these a go for a while and see if I like them and how they hold up over time, but I'm really digging the fact that they're not sticky uh, on the back side, and so they're not gonna get dirty and not get ugly. The backing is, uh, it feels pretty good. Now, as far as storage, let's see if I can just stick this right back on here. I can, I can stick it back into my bag. I don't know if these are uh, washable, but I'm gonna assume that they are, and uh, I will give that a shot and maybe post it down below in the comments whether or not they are washable or not. So, I hope this video helps you out. If you haven't used Moon Gel before, or even some drum dampening pads, uh, I encourage you to check it out. You can look in the description below, and I'll put a link both to these and to the Moon Gel, and you can decide on whichever one you would like to purchase and to use on your drums. Again, you can use them on your snare drum, on your toms, and your cymbals. This dampening gel is very versatile, and I really recommend throwing it in your stick bag. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If this video helped you out in any way, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. That encourages me, and leave me a comment down below. Which do you think is better, moon gel or drum gel dampeners, or what is your favorite method of dampening drums and cymbals? I'd love to hear from you. I'm always looking to learn new stuff about the drums. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me.